to Why Rush Racing and welcome to another tech tip. Today we're going to talk about these handlebars right here and specifically how about how wide they are. They are 31 inches. That's it. Nah, just kidding. Uh, so what I, what I, what I, the point of this conversation is to talk about, get you to kind of think about how wide your handlebars are and if they're the right width for you and the type of racing that you do. Uh, but first, before I get into that, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and click on that little WR down there, the yellow one, the little left-hand corner. Uh, that'll subscribe to this channel if you enjoy what you're seeing. I got, you know, these tech tips, hair scrambling 101, my race videos, my gear reviews. So, and, you know, I hope to bring more, much more in the future. Uh, but please subscribe. I appreciate it. Anyways, back to handlebars. All right. So, why am I talking about handlebars? Well, uh, so I've been racing close to three years now. And two years ago, uh, I, you know, I've been reading the line and hitting lots of trees and stuff like that. And I said, you know what, I'm going to try trimming down my handlebars and hopefully I hit less trees. And I didn't really know if it would work or not, but I said, you know, what the hell, why not? And I'm crashing a couple times a lap. Well, one, because I'm no good at racing. And number two is because um, maybe my handlebars are just too wide and getting too close. Especially when it comes to those double knockers is what I call them, where you got, you know, two trees right next to each other, and the troll goes right through the middle, and you either gotta go like this, to kinda slip through them, or slow down and kinda, you know, snake through it. And, well, I was hitting them, um, pretty much, pretty pretty consistently. Um, once again, skill has a lot to do with that. Um, but, once I cut these down, I still hit trees, but I didn't hit them as frequently. And I, I was really surprised about how uh, big of a change that made. I really didn't know what it was gonna do, but it, it did make a change. And what I did is I cut five eighths of an inch off of each side. So that's an inch and a quarter total uh, that I cut off of my handlebar. So I went from 30, this is outside to outside, um, from the, the, the bark busters. I went from, uh, what, 32 and a quarter inches to exactly 31 inches on the outside. And the reason I went five eighths of an inch is one, I like nice even round numbers. And so 31 inches, and there you go. And secondly, I wanted to make a small change. I didn't want to go cut off a full inch off of each side. Um, and so that's, that's small changes, right? If you're gonna start experimenting with stuff, don't, especially if you're gonna do something that it's not easy to uh, change back, such as you can't add on to handlebars too well. Uh, small changes is, is very key. And I only did the change once because I was very happy with the results. And so going from 32 and a quarter to 31 inches um, and <clears throat> on top of that, uh, just recently I surveyed my fellow Hillbilly GP racers and said, what kind of, what, what are, what, outside, outside, what are the widths of your handlebars? And surprisingly enough, 50% of the respondents said 31 inches, uh, 25% roughly said 32, right, one inch larger, and 30%, or the other 25% said uh, 30 inches, one inch smaller. So 31 inches is about average um, there. And once again, Hillbilly GP racers, we do tend to do a little more tighter trails. Uh, we will have the, the double lockers. It seems like every course there will be at least one segment where the, that's going to be part of the course. Um, out west in desert racing, I don't even know why you're watching this. I would stock whatever it is. Uh, you know, you, you probably don't have to worry about it too much. Some of the GNC, right, CC, GNCC style racing, pretty wide trails may not be as applicable there. I don't know. Never raced them. Would like to, but once again, uh, may not be as applicable. But tight woods racing, which you got here in Southern Missouri, I would say this is applicable. Um, and then, like I said, small changes is key. Uh, there's there's three ways, or there's probably many more, but the three ways I'm gonna say you can cut these, this is my most favorite, is a pipe cutter. Uh, the reason I like a pipe cutter, it gives you a nice, consistent, perpendicular cut. Uh, it's very, um, uh, you can do it very slowly uh, and not make a major mistake of doing it. And essentially how that works is you got a little tightening screw with a little cutting blade and then like two guide rollers on the back side and then you just turn it in a little bit, put a little pressure on that cutting blade and spin it around once or twice, make, make start a little groove, turn it in, spin it around. Um, it is a little challenging to in a handlebar just because you are cutting off just a little bit, you know. Those pipe cutters are made for cutting a pipe where it has a nice good seat. So it takes a little bit of time, a little bit of patience to do it right, but that's my, uh, suggest my uh, most preferred method. Second would be a hacksaw of sorts, just cutting it, right? Once again, take your time, don't get in a hurry. 
and uh, it, you'll be able to do it just as well. And then third, I, I think it, it would work just fine. I've cut all kinds of things with mine. It's an angle grinder with a cut, like a cutting blade of sorts, or with, with a cutting blade, not a grinding blade, a cutting blade. And you can go through that just as well. I would mark it out ahead of time so you make, you know, you're making a good cut. Um, if you do that, make sure you wear all your proper PPE. Anyways, so that is the, the three methods, uh, favorite to least favorite method to do it. And then the other thing that I would, you might want to consider is, is how wide is your hand, right? So when I'm looking at my bars, I was looking at them like, okay, I'm going to make my, my bars a little narrower, I wanna, but I don't want to lose leverage. What is there anything I can do to kind of keep my hands back out towards the outside, right? And what I found is, uh, I, what I went with is a little thicker grip donut. So I had just kind of a, a little thin, wispy grip donut on there. It does great for kind of keeping blisters off, but it, it was thin. So I said, I found these. Uh, these are through Mica Metals. Uh, these are about, I would say, oh, about three-eighths of an th inch thick, you know, uncompressed. And so I would say, you know, they, they probably moved my hand out about an eighth of an inch. So there's, you know, I cut off five-eighths off of each side, move them back out eight. So it's effectively, I cut my bars down about a, a half inch on each side. So that's one thing, uh, especially if you got narrow hands, move your hands out a little bit by maybe getting a little thicker grip donuts there. Um, and really, that's, that's really about it. Uh, think about it. Don't make drastic changes, small increments, if you think this is relevant to you, right? And I do appreciate you listening. Please subscribe. Lower left hand, well, lower right hand corner down there, my left. And I'll see you out on the trails. Thank you. Bye.